This is a video of how to light my wood burning stove for my wife when I'm not home in an event it goes out because you just got to keep adding wood she knows how to light it. So step one I always leave some ash in there and there's always some coal from the last burn. You got to take your poker and you move it around there's some holes that all the ash falls in falls into the ash pan. You dump everything in the ash pan. And you can, uh, you can close it. So you close the ash pan. I'm not locking it tight because we're going to open that later. We're keeping the uh, catalytic bypass open. So there's a hole straight up the chimney. Charcoal is fuel. Burns really well. Just got to light it. All right, that's all you got to do. It's lit. All right, it's, it's still got to catch more on fire. But um, let me show you how that's done. Simply take the door, close it, but not all the way. Okay, open the air in, so air comes in from the top and the bottom. And we're just gonna crack the door. So plenty of wind can blow through and those will pick up the oxygen and get hotter and hotter. All right, we have a minor problem because the stove and the chimney's cold and I can sense in here that the air isn't going up, we got cold air coming down. So we need to create a little bit of uh, heat in here. All I'm gonna do is let this hot air go up through the chimney so it's got a draft and I might as well just burn up my coals doing that. Heated those up really good. Now I want the heat to go up like a hot air balloon. Try that again. About five minutes later, it's nice and hot. Add your kindling. You can keep that open because that's gonna force air to go up through the vent and you can close this door. Literally 60 seconds later. It's going pretty good, right? More kindling. Forcing air through the ash pan works wonders. With the kindling lit, you can add wood.